JJ Moore, a local folk artist in Norfolk, has lived a lifetime full of stories. He's an artist who has etched his lasting mark in wood instead of stone. His work speaks for itself, but mostly exhibits his passion in life. 13 News Now photojournalist Brandon Graves shows us how this retired Navy veteran spends every morning sculpting history right out of his garage. I'm doing the different quadrants, like the legs. Well, the details, you know, it's all in the detail because it all tells stories. This is what they call two below wood. I'm shaping his boots. You know, I'm a, what they call a folk artist. I kind of learn on my, you know, learn on my own. I, I have to picture it in my mind, and once I picture it in my mind, then I bring it into reality. When I thought about the piece, then I just basically started developing each character. Like this particular policeman, he has a baton and a shield. With that, I just keep on doing it and trying to develop the story. You know, I'll tell the story in the wood. This one right here is called a gift to God. It's a uh, dedication. This is called a Reflections with Libation. What you have here is the baby mama drama here on the corner. The guys under the street light playing basketball. And these guys right here, they shooting crap. This one's called Make No Sense. This is the only one I have that lights up. It's about street violence, gun violence. They're coming in to get the body. In the United States, over 10,000 folks was killed by guns. And this piece is called Meet You on the Other Side. I had two nephews that died from uh, gun violence. It was devastating, you know. Here today, gone tomorrow. Well, I could walk out the house and get and be hit by a car or die or whatever. The thing about having a med you know, having medical issues, now you kind of have a uh, a picture of where you know where you're going. Now that makes you more appreciative of you know what you have. I got stage four prostate cancer. Uh, it spread it from my prostate into my bones, and it's, I have traces in my liver. Uh, the other day when I went to Philadelphia, they gave me two units of blood. I didn't feel like doing anything. You know, if I didn't feel like coming out here and carving, I knew something was wrong. But then uh, once I got that transfusion, it, it raised my, my blood count and my energy level went back up. Then I felt like dancing. <laughs> I don't worry about, you know, just, just diagnosis, you know? I don't, even, you know I, I don't even think about it. I'm truly blessed every morning I get up. You pray in the morning and you thank the Lord at the end of the day. And know that as long as you live on this earth, you got to pay rent. And the rent that you pay is the service that you do for others. Because you're only here for just a certain t amount of time. Then you're gone. You know, you go to the great beyond.